Welcome to an exciting new tutorial where we're gearing up to uncover the mysteries of the Cloud3 Opus API. You'll learn how to hit the ground running with this beast, so strap in and let's get started. Currently, we're logged into Anthropic with a demo account. Our first voyage, diving right in by locating the API keys area. You can also uncover this by browsing the settings. We can engage with the Cloud API directly or by employing a client SDK. Get ready as we'll unravel the secrets on the client SDKs page, where we'll also see some example code. However, let's not forget, we need to create an API key first. Clicking on the link will grant us that key, a secret bit of code that you should store in environment variables for use in your scripts. As we navigate to the Client SDKs page here, we encounter Python and TypeScript, our two unique SDKs. Their magic enables you to intermingle with the Anthropic Cloud API, bypassing the work of low-level HTTP requests. Let's begin by experimenting with the Python example, stepping inside an editor to execute this code. Reuse this example code and remember to specify your Anthropic API key. Although you could hard code this value within your script, remember, it is a secret. It's beneficial to use environment variables for this mission. What's cool? You might not need to manually input this as it conveniently defaults to an environment variable. For this demo, we'll keep a max tokens around 1,000. For a simple example, we've got a greeting ready to pass to the model, hello Claude, and we'll print the reply. A small hiccup, it seems we need to install the Anthropic Python SDK. Without funds for the API, it seems an upgrade is in order. We're left with two logical paths, a prepaid credit system for the API calls, or the scale model, coupled with monthly billing. The scale option does require a chat with sales. It caters to the heavy-duty enterprise users, whereas the prepaid credit is a self-service alternative, a more independent way of getting started. Let's unmask the self-service journey by completing the form. We're nearing the end. All that's left is to furbish the billing information and decide on a suitable amount for our first credit purchase. Auto reload. It's not a necessity unless you have a production application and want to dodge any depleted credit issues. On this note, let's forge ahead. So we've established our initial credit balance for API usage. The burning question though, is just how much will this API cost us and how long can we stretch this $5? Let's dive into the pricing page of Anthropic, narrowing our focus on the API page. Witness the diverse pricing tiers. The cost is based on a per million tokens metric and the Opus model is the priciest we can potentially use. 
Interesting to point out, the sonnet model is five times cheaper. Even more fascinating, moving from sonnet to haiku slashes the price down 12 times. This essentially means you're facing nearly 100 times more cost for choosing the opus model over the haiku. An important aspect to remember is the higher cost for output tokens than input tokens. Your usage is enabled by a maximum content window of 200,000 tokens. Just think, you could cram a virtual library of information into these prompts. However, keep in mind that inputs could cost you more if you took full advantage of that context window. Keep this in your thoughts as you tap into the model. Now let's revisit our script here and see if we'll nail that API request this time. Well, bingo, we received a response. Hello, nice to meet you, how can I assist you? If you need low-level control or support for other languages, you'll need to call the API directly. So let's do that now. To do this, we can consult some guidance provided by Anthropic and make a curl call. We proceed with this in the terminal and needless to say, we still need to attach our API token to the request. It looks like we still need to supply the input in JSON format. Let's add that additional detail. Now we're all set. Mission accomplished. And remember, you can employ any programming language if you are leveraging this API directly. We'll keep an eye on the comment section for any questions. Thank you for tuning in and please enjoy responsibly.